Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at Fleming's left hand rule. And for this, you need a left hand, you need a right hand, and you need a marker pen in your right hand. Okay? Um, Fleming's left hand rule tells us the direction of the magnetic force for a current carrying conductor in an external magnetic field. So what we need to do is get our fingers and our thumb mutually perpendicular on your left hand. Let's not forget that. Okay, and then what you're going to do is using your right hand, I want you to draw on your left hand. If you're right handed, this will be easy. If you're left handed, this will be more difficult, and this will remember which way around the rule is. Okay, so first of all, on your thumb, we've got F. On your index finger, we have B. For the magnetic field or the magnetic flux density, and on your third finger, your middle finger, or your second finger, whichever way you prefer to think about it, we're going to have I. So when, if you put your fingers back to where they should be, then we know that if we've got a magnetic field B in that direction, pointing towards the camera, that's from north to south, a current moving in that direction, then the magnetic force is going to be up. This is going to create the motor effect. Okay, this is an example of a vector cross product, more of which later.